friends many times during bank audit we get bank statement or reports from cbs system in some different format like rpt prn okay, which are mostly textual format which doesn't open in excel so this video i am going to demonstrate how you can convert this files into excel using power query and the beauty of this approach is that power query would be recording our steps so we have to do these steps just once and the next statement you get it would be simply swapping of the files and rest of the things would be done one click by power query so over to my screen as you can see on the screen i have this file received from the bank okay now if you try to double click it it would not open with any software but don't worry if you install a free software called notepad plus plus and right click you would get this menu which can open any file in notepad plus plus let's see so now you can see i will zoom out a bit so basically this is a bank statement which is in fixed width format okay so this format is generally suitable for dot matrix printer okay and many of the cbs software generate this type of file so just ensure that you grab you get this file email from the bank for further analysis okay and don't worry we would be converting this file into excel so let's see so let's open excel ensure you have latest version of excel so office 365 or even if you have office 2016 or higher even that works okay now one of the method which people prefer is that go to data tab and text to column but issue with this method is that you have to carry out the steps each and every time you import statement so let's try to record this steps automatically through power query so that next time we get a statement automatically the steps are recorded and we will just swap the file okay so i would click on the get data from file from text csv okay now let me go to the desktop naturally you will not see, be able to see this file in first shot so just go to here and all all files okay so let's start with the statement kranti vir okay and i will press import okay now this is a power query window so power query is attempting to read the statement but naturally it is unable to split this into various columns but don't but no worries we can do this manually okay so i will click transform data which would open detailed power query editor okay from here we can start splitting our data into columns okay so i would select this column okay go to transform split columns and so i have by positions okay so i will click by positions now i need to tell power query what are the positions or column numbers positions are nothing but column number from where i want to split it into columns okay now the first column always starts with zero in power query but if you notice in notepad the first column if i click here it starts with one okay so let's tell power query what are our column index so my i would write first zero comma now the next column ends at here now it's very easy date and numbers are always right aligned and text is always left aligned so please apply this mechanism so if i go at the end of this date so date would always be at a fixed width same width so i will click here at the end of date so column number is appearing as 11 that means i need to write 10 minus 1 because excel is starting it with 1 0 0 based column number and notepad counts from 1 okay now this narration or particular column you need to uh, guess it okay sometime it would be wrong no issue we can again redo this steps and we can change the column endings okay so let's say arbitrarily if i take So click somewhere here that my narration ends or particular ends column number 65 that means comma 64 comma check number let's say i assume it somewhere here 
75 that means 74th these columns are very easy withdrawal columns end at 92 and deposit 111 92 111 that means 91 110 minus 1 balance debit credit i want to separate out so if i click here column number 130 that means 129 last column you don't need to specify okay let's press okay okay so just verify if your output is correct and properly data is split into columns or not okay i think this this looks good next step is sanitization of data okay because there are many garbage rows okay like this which we don't require like subtotals at the end grand totals so let's determine some pattern to detect which rows which we want to keep or retain now if you see in this statement i am just interested in only those rows where i see dates because naturally amount is written in the first line number of that any of the row okay okay so first before that let's rename our columns okay so this is our date double click and rename it particulars okay check number short something okay withdrawal or deposit so you can either name withdrawal deposits or i would go back debit credit so withdrawal is debit from banking perspective and deposit this crediting into my account okay. and naturally this is cash credit account so balance would be debit balance and this is our sign okay now next we need to tell power query that each column contains which type of data so the date columns if i click here I would say that this date column contains date type of data. Okay, date type of data. Moment I click this, it would generate something like this. So, whichever dates are valid would be automatically right aligned. And wherever it found blank, the cell was blank, you would find null written here. Null means blank in Power Query. And if any text like ABC123 okay, is found, it amounts to error. Okay, but don't worry ignore this for now okay so particulars column yes correct it is uh, in abc that means text format check number keep it in text format because nft or id can also come here nft rtjs id okay now this debit this column is in decimal numbers okay credit also decimal number balance also decimal number and don't worry about the errors anyway these rows are going to vanish okay i think so this looks good now let's remove all the rows where in the date column date was not found but before that before that i need to deal with the error rows okay so now we will have to replace error with something some token value so that we can delete all the rows where date is not there so what i can do i can simply select this column okay replace values and select the drop down menu and replace errors with a new ll that means make error as blank okay moment i do this all the errors gets converted to blank or null and please notice power query is recording our steps so it, you can always go back and rectify any of the steps by clicking on this gear icon okay now we can say that remove the empty that means null rows from this remove empty so naturally all the grand total and printing related all this uh, titles column titles are gone okay and this is a very sanitized version of data so let's uh, give this sheet some name like let's say statement you can give any name that is that doesn't affect anything okay. so this is a statement you can write cc statement 
anything. Let's go to home tab and click close and load. So you can see this file is now converted. Okay, now the beauty of this is that Power Query recorded the steps we applied. So the next time we choose any file, we don't have to do this again and again. Let me show you. Okay, let's say I save this statement. So I'm using save as I would save this to my let's say desktop. Statement 01, or you'll write borrower name. Okay. Now the next thing is very easy. Statement one, let's make copy and paste this file. Okay. So I would now rename this state at statement two for name of another borrower. So let me open this another statement. The structure of the statement is same, just like this Kranti V. The structure of this statement is dicto same okay so power query has recorded the steps to uh, import this so if the structure matches then it is irrespective of whether it is four to five pages ten pages or one pages the same step would automatically convert the statement okay so let me open this statement number two which i had made a copy enable connections Okay, I just need to do a simple thing. I will simply go to data. Okay, queries and connection. Right click and edit this. Okay. And in the first step, I will go. The first step was that browse the file. So first step recorded was that please browse this file from file open. So I will simply go, go to this get record and browse for the next another file. So now I would select this A1 creation. Okay, and let me click import. Press OK. And you can go to the again last step and check if data was correctly decoded or not. Let's say if you encounter error anywhere here because maybe the column endings were not correct, you can always go to this step and change your column delimiters or column endings okay but luckily this column delimiters were correct so this statement came perfectly close and load and this statement would be replaced with the file which you browsed okay so in this way you can reuse the same file for multiple statements of the same bank okay so please try this on your own data and please ensure that you have latest version of Excel. So Office 365 or any version of Office 2016 or higher, it is compatible. So if you like the technique, please do like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and share it.